a couple of days before Christmas in 2019, my young fella and I were heading up to my sister's place in the Shoalhaven area. We decided rather than just go up the freeway, we'd take a shortcut, or actually a long cut, through the Victorian high country. We drove straight from Melbourne to La Cola, filled up with fuel there, grabbed the bike to eat, had a bit of a look around. We were heading up to a campsite called Horse Yard Flats Campground. On the way, we wanted to go and have a look at the Maroka hut. We took a small track on the map to get there, but then ran into a dead end. So we spun around and just headed straight to Horse Yard Flat Campground. Horse Yard Flats is a beautiful campground on the Maroka River. We set up camp. Tim decided to throw a few rods in the Maroka River just to see what was in there, but uh, unfortunately, because it's so dry, the river was barely running. We did see a few small trout flapping about, but that was about it. There is a short hike to the Maroka Gorge and Waterfall from this campsite. We didn't do it this time. We thought uh, there wouldn't be much water, the waterfall, because of the dry conditions. But it would definitely be worth heading back there and going for a bit of a hike down there one day. After breakfast the next day, we headed off. Our first stop was going to be the Pinnacles Lookout. The Pinnacles Lookout is actually a fire observation hut which is manned during the summer months. This lookout would have been uh, an extremely important little hut over the next few weeks with all the fires that would have been close to this area. It has some amazing views from up the top. The high country is just a spectacular place. Next we headed to a track called Billy Goat Bluff. This would take us down to the Wanangatta River which is in the bottom of the valley. On the map, it tells us that the Billy Goat Bluff track is very steep, be cautious, and it's pretty accurate. Once you get up to the top of the actual Billy Goat Bluff, again there's some spectacular views up there. We were the only vehicle that was descending at that time. All the other vehicles we came across were coming from the valley up 
the trap. So there's a few times we had to uh, move out of the way to allow other vehicles up. But the views were just amazing. Basically, vertical cliffs on either side of the bluff. the track started to head down into the valley pretty quickly. It was very rocky and loose. The track was extremely dry and dusty just because of the uh, lack of rain over the last 12 months in the area. Some of the more challenging sections of the track were very steep, lots of loose rocks, some reasonable size rocks to get over as well, but first gear, low range, just using the engine as a bit of a brake, worked okay. Next time I'd like to try this track in the other direction. I think it'd be fine as long as it wasn't wet. Got good tyres, good clearance, plenty of grunt to get up the steeper sections. Should be fine. Once we got down the bottom of the valley, we headed to a campground called Eagle Vale. After a quick bite for lunch, we uh, headed off again. This is where we crossed the Wanagata River. When we were there, the river was extremely low and barely running. It'll be quite challenging in a wet year. The next river we came across was the Wongangara River. We followed this along for a few kilometres until we found the uh, crossing point. This crossing point would be quite deep in a wet or maybe even a normal year. Just on the north side of the Wongangara River are a heap of old town sites. Talbotville, Howardville, 
around the area. There's another old town site called Winchester, Hogtown. I believe this whole immediate area here was old gold mining country. We headed north along the Crooked River track for a short distance. This would take us on to the South Basalt Knob track. There are a heap of small creek crossings around here. Once we got onto the South Basalt Knob track, the track started to climb again back out of the valley. This track would take us to the North Basalt Knob track. These two tracks have got some reasonably steep sections, but nothing difficult, no real loose rocks. Just when we were there, it was very dusty obviously from the dry weather. Once we got out of the valley, we made it to the Blue Rag Range track. We turned right there and headed towards Dargo High Plains Road. We set up camp for the night right on the top of Mount Freezeout which is not far from Hotham Heights. Again, there's some spectacular views and scenery up here. There was a fair bit of smoke haze about from fires that were already burning southeast of Omeo. It made for a spectacular sunset. Unfortunately, it was only a quick trip, but we've seen lots of places that we want to go back to. There's just so many places to explore in the Victorian high country. Mm -hmm.